So here's the question for everybody. Is this really an electrostatic image dissector tube? I believe that it is. Look at that bullseye pattern in the front. When I move it in the light, this is indicative of a fiber optic faceplate. You have millions of little parallel glass fibers that are laid out until you have a, a bundle as big around as that target and then you slice off thin slices and it gives this neat optical effect as light hits it but its, it's intended purpose is to couple the light from the photocathode which is this contact uh, I mean couple light from the lens to the photocathode which is connected to this contact Behind it is the first anode, which is a cup. We can see the back of it here. And that cup has a large opening in it. It is connected to this contact. Poking into the cup through that large hole, which you may or may not be able to see, is this cone-shaped electrode which is attached to this contact which is one solid large contact in fact this end of the tube resembles a military rifle night scope tube in every detail uh, it has the the target the focusing electrode the accelerator and some place for the electron image to arrive a plane where the electron image arrives in the sniper scope tube there would be a phosphor plate here and an image would actually be formed. On top of that, note these electrodes around the rim. There are eight pins put through the glass. Four of the pins at 90 degrees penetrate this metal cone through glass bead feed-through contacts. And I believe that on the inside of this cone are four triangular shaped electrostatic deflection plates. At the end of this video I will include a, a drawing I've made of what I think is in there. So the image would strike here, the optical image, would be converted to electrons and focused through these two electrodes into the imaging plane which is the back of what would be the drift zone in a magnetic uh, dissector tube. In this case that that uh, virtual electron image instead of being collimated and parallel as in the magnetic tube in this case is turned into a cone shaped projection of electrons which pass through this focal point uh, a crossover point and then arrive at the back wall the electrostatic plates would take that entire bundle of the electron image and in the same manner as the magnetic tube sweep it over an aperture at the center of the back wall. I don't want to remove this tape as it's it's historical so I'm going to leave the tape on but for people familiar with photomultiplier tubes you can easily see that this section is a series of electrostatic dynodes, uh, electron multipliers. So the image electron that passes through the aperture ricochets down a line of these metal plates. Each one is 100 volts more positive than the last one. And as the electron goes, it strikes the first plate and knocks out, say, two electrons, which strike the second plate and knock out four electrons and so on. And this tube seems to have a lot of plates. I don't know how many uh, because I'm not going to take the tape off. If I take this piece off, being OCD, I want to take this piece off and it's apparently holding the base. This is a definitely an experimental tube. And I believe it's from it and I have no proof of that. I purchased this in a lot of tubes on eBay recently. And I've been wondering what it is. And the more I look at it, the more convinced I become this is an experimental electrostatic deflection image dissector tube, probably infrared. for unknown purpose, astronomy or military, probably military. 
uh, and I'm not sure if anything like this was successful. If it is, it may still be classified. So I have this mystery tube. If you perhaps worked at ITT or worked in, at NASA or on satellites that use these things, or weapons that use these things, drop us a line. Leave a comment. So, there it is, the mystery image dissector tube. You saw it here first at Lab Guys World.